Hi everyone, I hope you are. This is Coins Kid. I'm just going to dive into uh, Bitcoin once again. Thank you, support. Okay, big up the Coins Kid crew. So right now, if you can just like the video, share the video, share the content, and subscribe to the channel, that'd be amazing. Okay, so right now, Bitcoin has come up. It's getting a little bit overextended. Here. It's had a bit of a bull trap just there, and you've essentially coiled up in a horizontal. You've come back out. You've had a little bit of throwback. You're coming back into the pattern, which is quite negative. Okay, so you know you're coiling up inside this apex again. Full transparency. You roll here potentially come down wick off that low okay and if you lose that low i wouldn't anticipate you're going to come down deeper potentially you know these points of contact on this trend line could be the levels of support that you'll find moving forward so you've got one there at like 54 724 you've got one there at 53 738 and then you've got this swing high target just there you know if you was to have a large correction and a wick down to this particular level of support this is the previous swing high okay if we look on the daily i can show you pretty much what it is so if you was to see that roll here in the market for bitcoin you can see you've come up in a swing high swing low swing high potentially falling back to that swing high as support before you get the continuation here for bitcoin so you know if you do, if you was to see a roll we might actually get some cheeky bids down here and get really really fruitful uh, on a wick basically because that's what it does it wicks down to it you can see five two eight nine two you might be lucky if we get the roll. It's all about if we lose this key level support right now. Because I would imagine on the daily time frame we're holding a 20, which is really, really, really bullish. Okay. So straight away, if you do roll, okay, you've got a level of support just there. Five four eight seven three. You've got a level of support just there as well. The points of contact on this channel. Do you see that? Uh five three eight three three six. And worst case scenario, I think we'll see a wick down to this previous swing high support. Okay. But it's all about if we roll, you know, if we if we do roll out of this particular apex just here and lose this support of this trend line, then yeah, I would imagine you're going down for a, a deeper correction, which you know it's normal, it's what it does. It shakes out all the balls and it sort of shakes out all the low over leveraged positions in the market. And I want to show you exactly exactly where this happened before in December as well, you know. We had a correction in the bull market and, and at that point people would have been shitting themselves as well so if we take a look on the daily time frame here we came up we had that rectember in november you know which we've just pretty much had we've had very much the same abc rectember you know in the previous bull market we had it as well started to come out of the traps in october yeah we're off to the races we're going to the moon and then you come into november and I look at that like literally round about where we are now we put in that correction with that whopping correction all the way down to the 55 on the daily look at that that must have been huge so from that wick eye you know that little bull trap down to that bear trap was around about 30 percent wow look at that 30 percent dump for bitcoin but then it continued didn't it you know because this is what happens it comes back spring shop see you later it's what happens so just here from there to the end of the month what did we do for bitcoin 29th 30th of november we put in 109 percent move off the low let's say four experiment right now let's have a four experiment we do have a crash here for bitcoin we shake out some of these balls right and get some of the leverage out the market okay and everyone shits themselves thinking it's going to zero so if we was to say come down to this swing swing low just there lose this daily 55 and roll over okay just a four experiment i'm not saying it will but if it does you've seen it happens and it's normal it's what bitcoin does okay so if you do lose this key level support the 20 and we have a sort of little flash crash down and this is potentially an a a b and a deeper leg c okay in here and then if we was to come down here and we need to get to plan b's uh 98k by the end of november let's have a look how far away that is 86 percent doable isn't it because you've done it before okay so that's basically bitcoin you know it's all about support and resistance right now you've got some t support targets if you want to see a role in the market here for bitcoin i think on the daily if we take a look at the rsi there is potentially a nice little hidden bullish divergence just there okay there is this trend line in the rsi which i've shown you okay you're broken out there put the impulsive wave fell back to its support so for me if you was to roll here if it was to roll you know again you could roll all the way down here this particular trend line could hold again as support moving forward for bitcoin but it's so bullish it's so bullish honestly bitcoin is so so bullish i'm not gonna lie to you it is really really bullish for continuation uh, it really is ethereum is everything is but you know things flash crash this is this is what it does okay so it's if if the flash crash comes in i always show you the support targets and areas where you can get cheeky bids in if you was to see that sort of whip down that flash crash because for me if you start to come up and break this trend line just here in the rsi i do think you're putting an impulsive wave to a minimal 70 free 952 bitcoin okay uh, so right here right now what we're looking at just here there is a bit of a uh, hidden bullish divergence that's starting to form just a slight one just there okay for bitcoin so you know technically at the moment looking at bitcoin is really really bullish okay and the reason is and you've just heard me say it's because 
on the daily you are holding the 20 okay so that's extremely extremely bullish you're holding this yellow line you've come up you fell back to it and you're holding it as support you're coming towards, towards some apex so some kind of break is coming relatively soon here for bitcoin the question is is it going to lose support and break to the downside and lose the 20 or is it going to come back to the upside bounce off the 20 holders support and breaking out of this pattern to the upside okay because you've had a little bit of throwback here for bitcoin off this inverse and shoulders so for me just here if you take a look on the daily time frame there is a hidden bullish divergence so this could actually be giving the game away for the breakout do you understand that so you've got a low and a higher low do you see that at the moment okay in the price action but in the in the rsi just here you're starting to form basically just like that you're starting to form a hidden bullish divergence where you got a low and a lower low so that if it starts to come down a little bit more like that that'll put more of a sort of stronger hidden bullish divergence and this starts to come down and bounce off this trend line in the 20 you know this way your RSI is going to come down on the daily like that and that's a, a quite a strong hidden bullish divergence and that could be the signal for the break down there boom boom see you later so you might actually get fruitful here putting some cheeky bids on the 20 ema at 65.86 okay full transparency you lose that 20 okay put some bids in with stop losses obviously but if you lose that 20 that could be a, a precursor to the fact that you're going to come down to these levels of support and i've shown you that if it does happen it's not necessarily a bad thing it happens in bull markets okay and it's it's, it's basically like pulling it back like a catapult to let it go you know and, and potentially you can see you coming up and you just land on this swing high as support that's your rock solid support for me in this bull market you know i, I, I think i said to you in a previous video you know if you, if you come down and you lose that for me that's really bearish obviously you can see it is anyway because you're rolling it's such a whopping correction but if you do come down to there I'm, I'm seriously thinking about all my positions in crypto and i'll probably be exiting at that point you know i'm not going to ex exit here because i'm looking at continuation but for me if you do start to come down here and you start to lose these lows this swing high could be a precursor to losing this swing low you lose that swing low that's your bear market just there okay don't envision it i think bitcoin is extremely bullish but we know that anything can happen in this market okay there's no crystal ball there's no guarantees it's all a game of support and resistance moving forward for bitcoin so that's basically bitcoin you've got a, a lovely little hidden bullish divergence that's starting to form and potentially might not roll out this pattern we're holding it as support so you could be good for continuation here providing you hold that support take care everyone back soon with an update on bitcoin stay healthy stay strong stay tuned bye bye